my name is Denise Co Genovese. I'm associate editor at Unquote, and I'm delighted to be here at Cannes IPEM Private Equity Conference with Francois Aguerre from Collar Capital. Thanks, Francois, Hi. for joining me. Pleasure. Thanks for inviting. Um, and you were on a panel yesterday about direct investments. Can you talk yes. a little bit about that ambiguous relationship between GPs and LPs? No, absolutely. I was there with a number of uh, large institutions, you know, the typical Canadian Asian institutions who are uh, always willing to uh, invest more capital and to invest that capital as efficiently as possible, reducing impact of economics uh, from the GPs. I think uh, the reality of what we observe with them is that um, it is very difficult to put together a team to execute on those strategies. And so there are willingness to, um, uh, to develop in that field, um, but in most cases, those institutions end up co-investing more than anything else alongside GPs and try to co-invest as much as possible for any dollar of commitment into the main fund. But that's, that's typically the outcome. Ultimately. And in terms of direct investments, is there quite a lot of momentum you're seeing? Do you think the market's moving away from co-investments yeah. towards direct investments or not so, quite yet? I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. What we see very clearly, we publish twice a year the global barometer of private equity, which you may have seen. And there is a massive trend, no question, about more co-investments across the overall LP community. Uh, it's, really, it's really a step up, a massive step up to go into direct investing because you need to put in place the right team. And to attract talents in our industry is quite difficult. The industry is growing. The industry is quite profitable and has the ability to pay the talent. So for typical institutions, LP institutions, to be able to afford the team is very, very yeah. challenging. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Um, and Collar Capital, yeah. I associate Collar with the secondaries market. Absolutely. Can you give us your kind of um, insight into what you see in the next 12 months for the secondaries market? Yeah, so I think in the next 12 months, we and everyone playing in this market uh, is expecting a continuing very strong growth, solid growth uh, for the market. Um, you know, I joined the firm a long time ago when the market was 10 billion. It was almost 100 billion last year. And, um, and we see that market going to, you know, three, 400 billion in the next decade. So uh, there is um, a continuing acceptance of the liquidity provided by uh, cigarette players, by the LP community. Uh, which leads to more and more portfolio management. And so across all type of investments, whether it's LP positions or GP-led, direct portfolios and so on, um, you see growth um, coming through all those segments. Yeah. Great, thank you. Francois Aguerre, thank you very much. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Thank you.